This is a technical video. How you can take uh, photographs with a DSLR camera uh, that doesn't have a flip screen yet you can see it from anywhere and any angle using an old mobile phone or an old tablet. Hello, we're going to plot the plates. Right, as you probably all know, we've got severe snow and cold outside, so I think it's time for an indoor video. I'm, uh, I'm really not, not too hot on these, because I'm going to do a bit of a technical video. Right, I nominated Malcolm Brown in my five questions, five nominations, and as you may know, he's uh, not got very good eyesight, and he was saying that, uh, and I don't know what camera he's got. I did, uh, I did leave a note. If he didn't, if he messaged me, I would uh, look into it, see what I could find out uh, regarding remote controls, because I, I think he had a DSLR. It sounded like a DSLR, and he said it was a Sony, but I don't know what model it was or whether there are apps for Sony. Uh, digital cameras, but I suspect there are. Anyway, I'm just going to go in to a couple of things that I do. Right, this here is a camera. It's actually a, a car camera or a little spy camera. It's called a Mobius, and I think it's the version one, version one Mobius. There's no screen on it. Makes it very difficult to use. Anyway, if you take, I've got an ordinary laptop here, an uh, ordinary tablet. Nexus 7, first generation, so another old another old thing. Um, I'm going to put it on my stand anyway, just to make it a bit easier. And yeah, and what you need, and I'll just fire that up as well. There you go. What you need to connect cameras, this could be a digital SLR um, or this Mobius. I use different programs. Anyway, you need an OTG cable. That's what an OTG cable looks like. It's got a normal USB there and a, a micro USB there. I think you might be able to get them with the mini USBs as well. Anyway, it's not an ordinary cable. This is a data cable. I think it's called USB host controller. Right, I've got a long lead. You can have them longer. So I get the two USBs. You put the USB together onto the OTG cable, okay, and then the little micro part of that you plug into your um, tablet, like that, and hopefully this is going to fire up, and then you put the other end into a camera device, in this case it's the Mobius. Got one of these in my car, by the way. Like that. And then I have to power this on. And, that, and I don't know if you're going to see this. I'll try and lift it up. It fires up an app. This app, I, just, I won't give you links to this app because it's no longer available. Anyway, if I hold that there, now I'm going to push the camera button, so it's going to start recording, and it should change the screen. There you go, now I've got a live view. So I've got me watching you, you watching me. And I use that to set this camera up, so I can see what I'm doing. Right, does that make sense? Right, this, this um, video is not really about this camera. That's just a demonstration of what you can do. Right, let me put that away. Now we come to a digital SLR. Now, this, this one's a pretty old one. It's a 550D Canon. I've never really used it for... Uh, you know, let's just make it myself a bit closer. Never really used it for doing YouTube videos until the other day when we did the five questions, five nominations. 
and uh, the video where uh, Carol was on there was filmed with this. It's got a few modifications. I've got some generic firmware on it. Um, but I won't go into that. Anyway, it's got no flip screen. It's got a screen protector on there, but apart from that, it's got no flip screen. Okay. So we're going to do a similar sort of thing. I could do it with the uh, the Asus as well, but this time I'm going to use a mobile phone. It's just an old mobile phone. It's got no SIM in it or anything. So I'm going to plug the USB host controller. I think they're called uh, OTG cables. They're only a couple of quid on Amazon or eBay. So I'm going to plug that into my phone, my old phone there. All right. And the other end is going to go into my camera. Find the right port. There you go. Just going to power the phone on a bit. There you go. There's, there's the phone on. Right. Now I'm going to switch the camera on. Actually, I think I'll, I'll put it into video mode on this one. Yeah, so dialed in video mode. I'm going to switch the camera. Well, it actually is on. I'll put some up just a bit of refresh it and power it up. There you go. See, it's started another app now. So again, if I look at this in a minute, that's it. That's it. It's not focusing, but so I've got me looking at you, looking at me. Let me just put this on a tripod for a sec. Anyway, what I was thinking with Malcolm, he's not got very good eyesight. If he could set something up like, like this with his camera, he could have a really large screen. Give him better visibility. I've got this little mini tripod here. Okay. So I don't, I don't know if you can be able to see this camera screen. Let's just give that a go. I don't know. It's going to be a bit awkward, I think. I don't know if you're going to see that from there. Anyway, as you can see, it's a bit fuzzy. Now, on this app, I can focus it. So I just got to touch the screen. It probably won't focus because I'm too close. Oh, it has that, yeah. And now it's focused. I'm going to turn it round. I'm going to focus it on you. Thankfully. <laughs> right, there's you. I'm going to do the focus again. Oops, it's actually recording then. So uh, I've focused it on you now. Let me just straighten that out before it falls over. Actually, I wonder if I can show this video as I do it. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to move this around. And I'm going to point it at me. And hopefully I'll be able to show you this bit of video as well. So back to the app. There's, there's me, look. It's not a wide angle lens, this is just a standard lens, so it's not going to be very good at that really. I'll try and move it back a bit, but I don't think that's going to work. Um, oops, I'm shoving you around now. <laughs> Right, there's me. You see that? It's on the other camera. So it's me looking at you, looking at me. Right, and it's actually recording now. Whoops, keep wobbling the table, sorry about that. So now it's actually recording. You can see the time going down. I don't know if these have got a red. 
Oh, there's a red button with the time next to it. You see that? So it's actually recording. I could do that. I could do this with my tablet as well. I might just switch that over actually and do that. And stop that one. I'll try and show you these clips when I finish the video. Right, so I've unplugged that. that the camera's now stopped. I'll plug this into the tablet. You might actually see it better on this tablet screen, won't you? Right, the camera's fired back up because it's detected the device. Just select in DSLR controller, that's what it's called. Right, I fired the camera back up and now it's on my tablet. See? Hello. <laughs> There's me looking at you, looking at me. And this might come out with all those spiral things, won't it? Right, let's see what I can do. Let's see if I can do this backwards. Uh, right, say I wanna see those little squares in the middle. If I wanna focus it, I just touch the screen. Can you hear the camera guy? Focusing? Yeah, I just push the red button and it's starting to record. You see it? Dig the digital going down. The other cables that connect it are no special cables. Woman who came with your camera is a good idea. So I think that's going to be a little short video, give you some ideas. If you've got an old DSLR, no flip screen, you can take this anywhere, move it towards your plants, and you can see what's going on. Hello. <laughs> anyway, I think that's it for now. I'll just take that out of there, and the camera will go off. Right, maybe some of you will find that interesting or give you some ideas of what you could do at your end. Maybe you've got some old cameras, DSLR cameras, that uh, you don't use. And you think, oh, I could do that. Um, I'll just touch a couple more things, mainly from Malcolm. If I bring this camera over here now, so I'm dis disconnected all that. Okay. Now... I'm going to put it into a uh, steel mode now. So it's like in a steel camera mode, and you can uh, you can get little remotes. So if you want to take steel pictures, right, you can get little remotes like this. Don't buy a Canon one; it's too expensive. These probably about five or seven quid eBay or Amazon I'll just switch the camera off a minute I don't like plugging things in when the camera's on well, turn it around so you can see what I'm doing there's a little remote connection in there map to all that so it's going upwards a bit Point here, you and see if it'll focus because it's sort of, it won't sort of go if it do not focus. See, shot, another shot, another shot. You can put it on hold if you want to use bulb, or you can change the camera settings. Just trying to get through to the settings in a minute. So, to single shooting, hang on, it's not focusing, that's what's not doing. Now, here the buzz button. So that was two seconds. Push it again. And you got another two seconds. Right, go back to the mode again. Uh, oops, wrong one. So that was two seconds. Now we've got a, like a continuous one now, so this will take two shots. You can set the different value, you can increase the two. So push the button again. So 
See? Two shots. Right. Switch the camera off a second. I've got another device here somewhere. Uh, right, I've got this other little thing. This is a wireless one this time. I think I've got to point it at the camera, so I can't have the camera pointing at you. Again, eBay, Amazon, cheap, don't buy the Canon one. It's a bit too expensive. This is the remote control, point it at the camera. Oh, come on, you worked earlier. <laughs> Why does it never work on camera? <laughs> Is that working? Oh, maybe the battery's gone flat. Can't see a light there. So that was just a little video showing you how to get uh, camera control on either a phone or a tablet. In the case of Malcolm's, it could be a really big tablet. You might be able to see it very well. So that's goodbye from me. See you again soon. Happy photography. Cheerio.